What is your opinion on sustainable uh, palm oil? See, when you talk about sustainable palm oil, what are you talking about? Are you talking about in terms of how how does the palm oil become sustainable? It's an industrial monoculture. Mm-hmm. It's a monocropping system, and monocropping system they're not sustainable mm-hmm. because you have one certain crop which can fail any time, and then for this one you need to have a lot of pesticides, a lot of weedicide, a lot of herbicide. Why? Because it's a monoculture, and every monoculture weed is going to be a big problem. And when you have that, the how it, because see, if you are going to say okay, we will do palm plantation places where there is nothing going, nothing is happening. Maybe they are doing some greenery, but then even then also you have to look at that, that ecosystem. What is happening with that? So if you're going to change the ecosystem, you're going to change the ecosystem services, the provisioning services. It's not going to be sustainable. And, and in terms of soil fertility, if the soil fertility is going to go down, how is it sustainable? If the water resource is going to be affected, how is it sustainable? So sustainability and if the if the, if the surrounding surrounding environment because of the chemical pesticides, and we have to remember that when you talk about environmental movement. It was in 1962 when Richard Carson wrote the book The Silent Spring, which began the environment movement. What was she talking about? She was talking about in terms of how these chemicals pesticides, mm-hmm. which is the byproduct of the Second World War surplus chemicals lying around, actually created a lot of problems for the for, uh, for the for, for human health, for health, the biodiversity. So there is no sustainability. I mean, there cannot be sustainability in that. You see, another point about sustainability when you talk about in terms of income. For example, you say, okay, we're going to get income. We're going to we're going to be uh, better off. But as the as the report from Mizoram, I think, has found out is that you know what they are not getting paid. How is it sustainable? And also, you are destroying your asset. The only asset you have, land, which is going to be useful for you for for generation to generation. So if you're going to destroy that, your economic sustainability also comes down because then you talk about post-system services provision. So if, for example, let's say, how do you do the accounting for that? Okay, one hectare of land, or let's say one one hill, for example, no, it can because it's giving you soil protection, because it's giving you water water filtration, and all those. If you take that into all the consideration, you count, you you put a value to that. It's going to be hundreds and thousands and thousands of dollars mm-hmm. just to bring back if you want to go back to regeneration to that mm-hmm. so in terms of even income sustainability economic sustainability also is not sustainable mm-hmm. because you're going to destroy the asset which is there and and all your production all your livelihood will depend on the asset if you don't have the asset anymore it's highly degraded if you want to bring it back to the original condition it's going to cost you a lot and so economically also it's not sustainable mm-hmm.